If you're a fan of medical dramas like Grey's Anatomy, The Good Doctor, or even House, you can recall the excitement of watching surgeons perform difficult procedures with your fingers crossed that the patient makes it out okay. A similar scenario played out here in St. Vincent and the Grenadines at the Milton Cato Memorial Hospital last month when the neurosurgery department successfully performed one of the most complex surgeries ever done on the island. Searchlight interviewed the surgeons who operated on the 71-year-old male spinal injury patient, Dr. Olga Villalonga, a neurosurgeon with the Cuban Medical Brigade, and Dr. Jasmine Ellis Davy, consultant pediatric surgeon attached to the neurosurgery department. Dr. Ellis Davy tells Searchlight about the challenges the hospital faced in the past when it came to patients who required neurological care. So before 2021, um, at the Mills and Cato Memorial Hospital, once we have a patient who required neurosurgical intervention, we um, had to bring in a neurosurgeon to assist us with the management of these cases. He had a lot of um, difficult um, times and challenging times getting um, the neurosurgeon here to St. Vincent. One, it's not only, um, it's, it's expensive and costly, not for, only for the patient, but for the government as a whole, and also getting them here in the, in the inadequate timing. Dr. Villalonga said her transition into neurosurgery at the hospital back in June 2021 was a difficult one. Despite these hurdles, they have been able to complete 55 surgical procedures within the last two years. I remember that when I come in, I start my first surgery was the baby with the hydrocephaly. And I need to put the shunt at the first day that I start to, to work here. And this is, was my, my first moment. It was very difficult because it's not only the, that my specialty is very complex, uh, the, the other problem is that it's no um, development there. Um, the, the best for me was found Dr. Ellis. Dr. Ellis was the, the person that by the Minister of Health and the hospital helped me to start to work in the hospital and start to develop my specialty. The last month, last month, I have the, the patient with the trauma, with the spinal trauma, and with the help, with the Dr. Ellis, and the other people, was possible to do the surgery here. And in this moment, the patient is under a rehabilitation and continue to working and improve very well, very well. I think, in my opinion, that it's possible to do many things in some business. It's possible. I hope in the uh, next month I can available the MRI in Houston, and then I'll be sure that I can to do the new diagnosis. And when you have the new diagnosis, then you need to you need to do more procedure, and the people need more than. Uh, our help, but for that I need to the adequate uh, um, instrument, adequate staff to continue to develop the neurosurgery in San Vicente and in the Milton Cato Hospital. Our team comprised mainly of Dr. Villa Longa, she was the lead surgeon in this case, uh, myself, Dr. Ellis Davy, I was the, her assistant, the first assistant, the technician from Trinidad who was um, played an instrumental role in the, um, guiding us with regards to the device and the preparation of the cage. We also had the anesthetic team, Dr. Pupu and Dr. Sanchez and the nurse anesthetic Alexander and we also had the supporting staff in terms of our scrub technician, nurse days and um, the medical officer and interns. The government is now in the process of purchasing um, more 
equipments and instruments um, that is required for um, to build a neurosurgery department and we are very grateful as well for the implementation of the the MRI which we are expecting to um, to get started to get that service started soon and that would help us not only in diagnosing the patient but also in the follow-up care of the patients after after surgery and we we are thinking based on what is happening now is that we'll be able to diagnose even more patients who is would require neurosurgical intervention Dr. Ellis Davey encouraged members of the public in need of neurological care to visit their family physician or district doctor for a referral to the neurosurgery department at the Milton Cato Memorial Hospital. This is Jada Chambers reporting for Searchlight Online.